does excess fat deposit around your upper arms uh, bother you and uh, do you really feel the need to contour your upper arms and uh, you feel that the, your arms are not proportionate to your body so well we have solutions for all these problems hello friends i am dr hina kudyar uh, director and co-founder of uh, the sculptor clinic at gk1 new delhi So today in this video, I will be talking about the various uh, contouring procedures of the arm. So all uh, the procedures which give a good shape and contour to your upper arm. So now there are two conditions in which these uh, contouring procedures are required. First, uh, your upper arm has excess fat deposits. And secondly, uh, in addition to the uh, fat deposits, the skin of the arm is loose and hanging and uh, you have excess skin uh, around your upper arms. So now talking about the uh, excess fat deposits around the arm. Uh, so there are uh, certain patients who have only fat uh, deposition in the upper arm and it looks disproportionate uh, to the upper body and they are not able to get rid of this fat in spite of the vigorous exercises. Uh, in such patients, the option which is available for contouring the arm is the liposuction. Now we have the second subset of patients who have uh, fat, who may or might, uh, may not have the fat deposits, but they definitely have the loose hanging skin. So now this loose hanging skin can be the result of various causes. First of all, the normal aging process which occurs in which we uh, the elastic and elasticity and firmness of the skin is lost. So in those cases, we have the loose hanging skin around the arms. Secondly, if a patient loses weight significantly and uh, in massive weight loss patients, they have loose hanging skin in the upper arms. And also in patients uh, who undergo bariatric procedures or uh, weight uh, uh, loss surgeries, in those uh, patients also, we have seen that they have loose hanging skin around the arms as well as other body parts. So now we have two procedures for uh, arm contouring. First is the arm liposuction and the second is the arm lifting or the brachyplasty. So uh, we will discuss in detail what are these uh, procedures about, who are the ideal uh, candidates for both these procedures, what is the recovery time after these procedures and the post-operative care in both of uh, these procedures. Now first of all, I'll talk about the arm liposuction. Now I have already discussed about a subset of patients who have only who only have uh, the fat deposition in the arms and their skin tone is good. Like in young patients who put on weight and uh, then their arms also become heavy and bulging, these, can, these patients, they can go for liposuction because liposuction will remove only the unwanted fat which is present around the arm. So the patients who have only excess fat deposits in the arm, they are the ideal candidates for the liposuction procedures. Visav is the uh, second set of uh, patients which I have already discussed like uh, uh, during the aging process, the second is uh, after massive uh, weight loss uh, patients, then post bariatric uh, surgery patients, all these uh, patients they have excess uh, and loose hanging skin. So to take care of that excess uh, skin, we have to do the arm lift or the brachioplasty. Now liposuction is also known as scarless arm lift because in liposuction, we give very uh, small incisions and we take out the fat with the help of cannulas and uh, the procedure is performed only through uh, small incisions. But in brachyplasty, we have to take care of the excess skin which is loose and hanging and uh, we can achieve this only by giving an incision from the axilla to the elbow. So there is a scar around the inner aspect of the arm. Now the liposuction procedure can be performed under local anesthesia. Uh, in some patients we might require IV sedation but it can be done under local anesthesia. Whereas the arm lift or the brachioplasty it has to be done under general anesthesia and in hospital setting. The post-op recovery also varies in both the procedures. Uh, first of all, I'll talk about the post-operative recovery and the precautions which we have to take after arm liposuction. So uh, in arm liposuction, like we do the liposuction in any other uh, body areas, there is uh, some swelling and bruising which uh, subsides within a period of around one week. And then we advise the patients to wear the pressure garment, which has to be worn uh, up to three weeks, which is mandatory. And then three weeks to three months, it is always 
always advisable that the patient wears a pressure garment so that it gives uh, a good contour to the arm. Now talking about the post-operative recovery and the regime which has to be followed following the arm lift or the brachyplasty. Uh, in uh, brachyplasty is a little more invasive uh, procedure than the liposuction. So the recovery time is increases as compared to the liposuction procedure. The swelling and bruising in uh, brachyplasty it takes around uh, two to three weeks to subside. But the pressure garment has to be worn for a period of three months, uh, mandatory up to three weeks and up to three months to give a good shape and contouring to the arms. In addition to these uh, precautions, we also advise our patients to restrict their uh, physical activity or the exercises for up to three weeks. After three weeks, they can start their uh, exercise regime and it has to be uh, increased gradually and uh, the sternus activities, they have to be started only after six weeks of both the procedures. As brachyplasty, there will be a scar uh, extending from elbow to uh, the axilla. So we need to have a proper regime for uh, scar remodeling. So uh, we always advise the patients to wear a sunscreen if they go outdoors or uh, even if they are inside, they have to wear a sunscreen. And uh, then we also prescribe them some uh, scar remodeling creams which have to be applied for a period of six to nine months because the whole process of scar remodeling, it takes around nine uh, months to 12 months. So till that time, they have to uh, be compliant with all these uh, scar remodeling measures. So friends, uh, if you really want to get rid of uh, that abnormal uh, contour of your upper arms, whether it is uh, due to the excess deposition of fat or whether it is because of the loose hanging skin, if you feel, then uh, do consult a plastic surgeon who can advise you the best procedure which will give you the best results in your case. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you must have uh, understood the arm uh, contouring procedures and uh, the differences between both the procedures. Still, if you have any doubts, you can call us and you can write to us. Uh, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for uh, latest notifications. And uh, you can subscribe to our Instagram handle by the name of the underscore Thank you.